Ashley here and I'm here with a small, small book haul. I look so cut off. Sorry guys. Um, let me just put myself a little bit more in focus. There we go. Okay. I am filming a book haul and a small one and I went to FYE and Barnes and Noble. I went to go see Deadpool today. It was a really good movie. I really do recommend it. Um, obviously not for kids under 18. Um, but it was really good, and I really did like it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I just wish it was more Deadpool of him being Deadpool and not how he became Deadpool, but I understand why they had to play that aspect up. Um, but I went to FYE to get some movies. Um, it was buy two, get one for a dollar, and then I one I got for five because it was up if you purchase anything and get it for five dollars. It wasn't really that big of a deal, I guess, because it was six ninety nine. but I picked up Olympus Has Fallen. If you care to know about these, if you don't, I'll just skip through to the book haul. But um, this has a lot of good people in it, and I heard it was really good, so I picked it up. I got Silent Hill. Uh, this is the second Silent Hill movie. I love the first one. I love all that craziness. Um, Taken 2, because we lost all our Takens. They got Taken. <laughs> huh, dun -dun -dun. Um, so we picked up the first one at... I think if you saw my haul, you saw it. Uh, the first one at Target for 5 and then I picked this one up for... $6.99. Now I just need to get the third one. Um, Takers was a dollar. It was free. Well, not free, but the buy two, get one for a dollar. Um, this I've seen before. It was really good. And then the other guys, which is really funny, with uh, Will, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Really good. So that's all I got from there. Um, and let's go into Barnes & Noble. I had a $10 credit because Barnes & Noble had to refund me because my books got stolen, which is really sad, um, from my from my house. So I now have to go into the store if I want to purchase something, which is pretty messed up. But whatever, it is what it is, you know? Um, so that credit actually helped me out, and I only paid $15 for three books, which is amazing because they're normally $10 a piece. Um, the first one I went in because I ordered this online and I didn't get it was My Life as a White Trash Zombie. Um, this is about a girl named Angela. She's a loser. Her dad's alcoholic. Um, and she wakes up in the ER after overdosing on painkillers. And all she can think about is brains. And there's a couple of books in this series. Um, I wanted mass produced paperbacks because when I go to see Shannon in Florida, um, I don't want to have to take a lot of books with me because it's going to be more weight added to my, um, added to my suitcase thing. So I wanted to just put little mass produced paperbacks and I've been wanting to read this for the longest time and I just never have read it I guess but we got to that one and I love the cover first of all look at the cover pretty pretty pink um and then I was looking around because I wanted the acto the first life by Judah Showalter they didn't have it yet it comes out tomorrow I thought maybe hey maybe they might have a day early they didn't um so I was walking around and I saw this it's the haunting of the sunshine girls by Paige McKenzie. I've never heard of this book. They have the second book out because it was right next to it. And I was reading it. it said, based on the YouTube web series Phenomenon. Um, and R.L. Stein said, I was on the edge of my seat from the very first page. And then Wes Craven, who has sadly passed away, said, things that go bump in the night are afraid to read this book. Read it if you dare. Don't say I didn't warn you. Um, and I guess it's on YouTube. It's about an adorable teenager living in a haunted house. It says, shortly after her 16th birthday, Sunshine Griffin and her, and her mother cat moved from sunny Austin, Texas to the rainy dren drenched town of Ridgemont, Washington. From the moment they arrive, Sunshine feels her world darkening with an eeriness she cannot replace. She can't place. Something about their new home is just creepy. In the days that follow, Sunshine is followed around the house by an icy breeze. Phantom wind slam her bedroom door shut and eventually the laughter sunshine hears on her first night evol evolves into sobs. As the spirits haunt her house becoming more frightening, it becomes clear that Cat is in danger. Sunshine must accept what she is, pass the test before her, and save her mother from a fate worse than death. It sounds really good, so I picked that up and that was $9.99. Um, and I wasn't even looking at this book at all, I just... Oh, I like the little illustrations they have. Um, but it sounded really good. And again, it's a YouTube video, uh, web series. So I'll have to check that out. Um, and then I am reading, if you haven't followed me, sorry, my, I am reading Salt to the Sea by Ruta Septis. 
I always say her name wrong. I'm so sorry. And I'm loving it. And I didn't think I would because it's like World War II, Germany versus Russia, I think. And all that craziness and, and Prussia's in it and Stalin and Hitler. And I'm really loving it. Like I'm on page 200 and loving everything I'm reading. It's really good. So I was like, I'm definitely going to pick up her other books. I have over here, you haven't seen it yet. I have Out of the Easy by Runa Satis. I have that one. I got it at my book outlet store for a dollar. So I picked this one up and it was $8.99 and it's Between the Shades of Grey. Everybody says this book will make you cry. And I am assuming I probably will cry because the book I'm reading now, like I said, The Salt of the Sea, I am almost certain there's going to be something really bad happening and I'm going to be in tears because it's, I'm so emotionally invested in the in the characters right now. Um, but this happens in L Lithuania. It says, have you ever wondered what a human life is worth? That morning, my brother was worth, was worth a pocket watch. Lithuania, June 1941, 15-year-old Lena is preparing for art class and looking forward to summer. In the dark of night, there is a knock on the door and life has changed forever. Soviet secret police arrest her and her mother and her younger brother tearing their family apart the three are hauled from their homes and thrown into cattle cars where they soon discover their destination siberia separated from her father she she embeds clues in her drawings and secretly passes them along hoping they will reach her father's pr prison camp in this dramatic moving story she desperately fights for her life and the lives of those around her but will love be enough to keep her alive it's been awarded so many awards. I've heard so many good things about this book. And like I said, I've heard it's sad and it will make you cry. And I never cried in a book yet, so I picked this up. So these were the three books I got for 15 bucks. I think a great steal. And I'm gonna be going back tomorrow to watch The Revenant and to see if they have the first life by Judy Showalter. So I'll definitely be hauling you that. Once I get that book, I'll definitely be doing a February haul. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.